What's going on, everybody? I'm Nick Hamilton here with my special guest, Janet Coronado. Now, she is the owner of Curves by Janet, and she's definitely a fitness trainer, definitely been in the fitness world for a very long time. I know with everything going on with uh, the coronavirus, people are staying in, still trying to be healthy, still trying to be in shape. So I wanted to bring my special guest on today to kind of talk a little bit about her journey, as well as what you can do to try to stay fit and stay in the mode of uh, being active, because we all know that's very, very important, especially dealing with these types of viruses and things like that. So Janet, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So my name is Janet, and as Nick said, I did recently start my brand. I am the owner of Curse by Janet, and the reason why I started with Curse by Janet was because starting my fitness journey was very hard. I am a mom. I do have a six-year-old. Okay. So I knew what it was to be overweight. And when everyone, um, some people think that the way I look right now, it just, it just happened overnight and it didn't. It took hard work and dedication. One thing I wanted to ask you, you talked about making waist trainers and obviously waist trainers aren't always the easiest fit uh, from what I've been no. told by a lot of different women. Was it more that you were catering waist trainers to more, uh, you know, black and brown women, uh, especially because of the, the size and the shape and things like that to be more comfortable? Not only to black and brown women, but also to women who have different shapes, because I feel like in today's society, we're entitled to look a certain way and feel a certain way. And it's hard to get there. Um, they make it seem like we, we should all look a certain way, but they don't provide the steps and how to get there. So that's what's very hard. And I wanted to put myself in that, everyone's position because I know what it is and I know how it feels to be overweight. So I wanted to make things easier for everyone because I know how it feels to be overweight. Now, what got you started on this journey? I know you talked about that you had a, you have a child and you, had, you were overweight. Was that something that got you started on this journey as far as being uh, in fitness and doing the things that you're doing now? Yes. That and also because before I had my son, I was into fitness as well. But as a mom, you get you get um, you let yourself go, and then you have no inspiration because you gain weight and because you feel insecure. As for my part, I felt like I felt insecure before, and it was so hard for me to start. But since I already went through all that, I want to help other women and let them know that it's okay to start from the beginning. There's nothing wrong from starting from the bottom. A lot of people start from the bottom, even small businesses, not just mine, a lot of artists, a lot of hairstylists and in different industries. And it doesn't matter where you start. The point is starting. Absolutely. I mean, first of all, I mean, I commend you for kind of finding your niche as far as what you wanted to do. You saw a need and you started to meet it. What is it about the fitness industry? I know now everybody wants to be fit now, and that's kind of the end thing, but you were doing it before it was the end thing as far as just having your own mindset. Can you talk a little bit about to the women out there that may want to lose weight but necessarily don't know how or trying to gain that confidence to, to see themselves as beautiful or see themselves as, as somebody that's, that's worthy? Yes. So me as myself, I – it's not necessarily that I'm a fitness model or I want to be a fitness model. I just want to feel, I wanted to feel more happier about myself. And that first step was getting to the gym, doing small workouts. I had a personal trainer from Premier Fitness. He's still my trainer. And when I first started going, I would only do half of the workout, but I would, get, I would at least do something. Now I could do the whole workout without an issue. However, it did take baby steps, and I do encourage everyone to take baby steps because those baby steps are going to lead to success. Absolutely. Now, I want to talk to you about something because it's, I think this is one of the most phenomenal things that I've seen, and that is you created a gel um, that kind of reduces fat, and you have different fragrances. Can you talk a little bit about that and how that concept came about? Yes, so I do have two glow gels. The first one is the Lime with Mint, and my second one is Coconut. And the reason why I came out with both of these gels is to help with stretch marks because, again, I am a mom. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to help other women lose weight as fast as possible. And also, as a mom, I do have a lot of stretch marks. So I wanted to 
create a product that would help with both. So okay. I created these because they both smell good as well. And then they're both, I went with clear mm-hmm. so that when you're working out, they don't stain your clothes again for the same reason, because yeah. I've used other products mm-hmm. and it sucks when you think the product is going to be a high quality product right. and it is not. And this one is a clear gel. So you don't have to worry about staining your clothes or getting dirty. Okay, so why those two fragrances? Is that, are those some of your favorite fragrances for yourself, or did you, you have a consensus about what type of aromas that would cater to women? I feel like I wanted to go with something fresh and clean. Okay. And Lime with Mint, I feel like everyone likes Lime with Mint. And then Coconut helps a lot with stretch marks, so I went with two um, neutral scents for both men and women. Okay. Now you talk about the men, because uh, you know some of the, some of us men are single dads as well. We want to get in shape too. So, is there anything that you have for for men, or something you can, you can suggest for men to to stay in shape, especially during these hard times that we're under quarantine? So I do have my my I have three sweatbands. So okay. I have this sweatband. This sweatband is just a sweatband just for the abdominal area. Okay. I do have a vest as well for the men. And I do carry our vel- Velcro band. So our, our Velcro band comes with two supports. And this is for weight lifting. Oh, okay, this, okay. The reason I came up with men products, men sweatbands as well, is because my brother started his fitness journey with me. And he would use my products too. So he told me, you need to come out with a brand that both men and women could use because your products actually work and they have made a difference in your life and in my life as well. Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't agree more. And so what changed for you when you, what what went off in your head? At what point did the light bulb go off in your head when you said, okay, I can do more than just obviously lose weight, want to be in shape, want to be healthy. When did it turn into a business for you? It turned into a business with for me when I actually noticed when I actually noticed that the product that I was using helped me so much. Mm -hmm. And I realized at that point that it could help other people as well. And that's when it turned into a business because it worked for me. So if it worked for me, it could work for other people as well. How many people have have responded back to you and and told you how much this product has helped them or uh, any other product that you've come out has really helped them? A lot. And I post screenshots of their messages on the daily. Okay. They send me videos and they can't even believe it. Um, I have a client in specific who lost two sizes in a month. So she ordered a medium and then in, in a month, she went down to an extra, extra small. And I couldn't even believe it myself. And that makes seeing, seeing positive feedback, it reminds me why I started this journey and why I decided to sell what I sell. And I even get surprised myself because it's not a weight loss product that you drink and or take. Mm -hmm. This is just something that you use. Okay. Yeah. The thing, so what have you noticed? I mean, I'm sure you have more energy, obviously playing with your son and having that time, that mommy time where you can be able to enjoy that time with your, with your son. How does that change you as well? I think it all begins with how you feel because I feel better with myself and about myself. I'm able to enjoy my time with my family. I'm able to want to spend time with my family versus before I would just isolate myself from everyone because I was so unhappy. Mm -hmm. And because things have changed, um, I change as a person as well. Your, Your perspective changes as well. The way you think changes. You think more positive. You think more energized. And to be honest with you, before I even started um, my business, I was living in Compton. And now I just recently purchased my first home. So it just goes to show that your whole mindset changes when you're dedicated to something positive. Well, congratulations on that. That's awesome. That's a great story. And I think that's a very inspiring story, not just for young women, but I think just people in general, as far as if you put your mind to something, you can create anything you you want to create. And especially now that we're in quarantine, I think people get get a lot more creative um, Mm -hmm. what they're doing. What are some of the, what's some of the advice that you would give to someone that may have been in your position or close to your position that wants to have an, that has an idea and wants to be able to disseminate that idea to the masses? 
my opinion would be to not let anyone let you down because before when I wanted to start my fitness journey, no one in my family works out. They don't, I come from a Mexican family, so they don't even eat healthy to be, to begin with. So it was very hard to even start. So what made, what made me start was myself because I needed to push myself extra harder and I didn't let negative comments get to me. When I first started working out, I would come home and I was in a meal prep plan and everyone would make fun of me like, oh, look at, she's eating by proportion and she's not eating what we're eating. And now they're the ones coming for me for help. So don't let anyone negative comments bring you down and don't let anyone talk if someone talks bad about you, don't take it personal because you never know where that's going to take you. And I'm, because they talked to me in a certain way and because they made fun of me, now I am where I am today. And now who's laughing now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, listen, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. I thank you so much for, for coming on and just sharing not only your story, but sharing the products that I believe really, really can help people and get people on the right track, especially in these days and times. So how are you holding up with the whole quarantine thing? What are some, what are some of the things that you're doing differently now? Well, I do have some workouts here that I wrote down for you guys. So these do not require any weights. So okay. if you guys are interested, you guys could go ahead and try them out. These do not require weights or any other um, equipment. Okay. So in the morning, you could do 25 push-ups. 25 bicycles, 25 squats, 25 lateral lunges. And these are workouts that you could do from home. They do not take no more than 30 minutes. If you just get in at least 10 minutes of a workout a day, you will feel better about, it, about yourself. You'll feel more energized as well. Absolutely. So if anybody wants to get more information, well, not only just your weight trainers, but your products, your uh, workout plan, where do they need to go to, to get all that information? They could go on my Instagram, and it is Cursed by Janet. All right. Cursed with the All right, and there you have it. Thank you so much, Janet, for your time. Again, you look fantastic. I am so proud of you and what your journey has been, and I'm looking forward to, in five years from now, you being on top of the fitness world uh, with even more products that will help even more people. So thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your time as well. All right, y'all. So that's the one and only Janet. And she has Curves by Janet. Then make sure you go support her. She's at Curves by Janet on Instagram. That's Curves with a K. Make sure you spell it right because you have, uh, otherwise you won't find her and you won't, you'll miss out. So make sure you tune in to her. Thank you again, Janet. And you have a great rest of the day. Thank you. You as well.